dad was one in a million. You never saw somebody that worked harder than him and um, never more giving person. He was a hard worker. He was my best friend and he was probably the kindest person I knew, so. The accident happened on Sunday, Father's Day, June 17th, 2018. It was a normal Sunday. We got up, we went to church, Sunday school, a typical afternoon on the farm. I talked to him at three o'clock that afternoon. Hey dad, I'll call you back later, you know, and uh, I never picked the phone up again. We had checked the cows and uh, as always on a farm, you have animals that die. So he went and got the tractor. And we, uh, he went to bury the cow like we always do. And I had turned the mule around to start back out of the pasture because the other cows had been coming towards the, where the gate was open. And I heard this horrible, horrible crash. And I turned around and he was gone. She called me and I got down there. I, I was actually the one to climb down in the ditch. Um, the hardest thing I've ever done was to tell mom that dad was no longer with us. That was something I was never prepared to ever do. When we got here, I waved the, uh, the highway patrol, the fire trucks, I waved everybody in the pasture. And it was quiet, it was too quiet. And I remember sprinting across the pasture barefoot and uh, Jeremy walking up over the ditch. He just looked at me. No? He, uh, he's missed greatly by many, many people around the community. He is needed greatly here at home. Everything I go to do, it's like, I don't have my carpenter here. I don't have my plumber here. I don't have my main man to help me feed. I have my son now and my daughter, but it's different. It's different without him. You know, him and I would just go out and do. Uh, it's a lot of stuff I'd like to tell him, but I haven't been able to, so. He was always looking for an opportunity to, to help somebody, to teach somebody. Um, I truly believe that, that I learned from the best, uh, best example I could have to learn from, and I didn't learn enough. I didn't have enough years. Uh, enough years to learn the things he could have continued to teach me and my children. You know, dad's accident was an accident. It wasn't something he planned for to happen. Just ask him, he was gonna live forever. We have accidents, but safety is no accident. This wasn't the first time he'd driven the tractor on that hillside. The weather was too dry. The tire was not quite aired up. I don't know whatever combination of things happened that day, it was gonna take a combination of things to save him. And it would have been a roll bar and a seatbelt. The roll bar alone is not enough. You've gotta put your seatbelt on. It's not a one step easy solution. You've, you've gotta wear the seatbelt, you've gotta wear it every single time because it happens that fast. We don't ever think it's gonna to happen to us, but it happened to me because it happened to him.